Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners on how to use bank feeds in QuickBooks Online. So I wanted to put together this video because I think it's really, really important. Uh, the bank feeds are a great uh, function within QuickBooks Online. So you can, uh, if you're not familiar with bank feeds, you attach your, your online banking uh, to QuickBooks Online. It feeds in all your transactions. And then you have a couple of options. You know, it, it, you can add these transactions, match them, uh, whatever the case may be. And it just makes your accounting a whole lot easier to make sure that you're capturing everything in QuickBooks. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, once you have your bank feed set up, I want to go over to banking right here. Okay, so we're going to see, uh, let me go ahead and get out of this there. Okay, so we're going to see we have our checking, savings, and MasterCard set up. Okay, so this is uh, the bank feed uh, area within QuickBooks Online. And you'll see you've got, you know, an update where you can update the transactions. Uh, you'll see where it says updated moments ago uh, on each of these. So these have been recently updated. So what I want to focus on within this video is right here. We've got all these transactions that downloaded from the bank. All right, so let me show you here these transactions that say uncategorized income or uncategorized expense. Okay, so what this means is that this is downloaded from the bank and QuickBooks does not recognize this as already being entered within QuickBooks. Okay, so when that is the case, what you're going to do is when you click on it, you're going to see you can add this. So this is just going to add it to your uh, check register and to your QuickBooks online file. You can find a match, which means that you want to match it to something within QuickBooks, or you can record a transfer. Okay, so this means that you're just transferring this between accounts. Okay, so if, if this is something that you're going to add, you're going to put in the vendor, you're going to put in the proper expense account, and if it's billable, you put in the customer. Okay, and the memo here automatically comes in from the bank, and you can change this if you like. Okay, now, very, very important to remember when you're using bank feeds in QuickBooks Online is that if you have already recorded a transaction in QuickBooks, you do not want to add this, okay? It's, QuickBooks is not always going to recognize that you have already added it, or as you can see here, it's going to say that there were two records found, okay? So if you're going to match it to your records, you need to make sure that you attach it to the correct uh, transaction. Okay, so in this case, Pam Sites uh, and Books by Bessie, you'll see that uh, there's an expense here for 75 and there's a bill payment for 75. So you have to match it to the correct one. If you don't, you risk, uh, you know, messing up uh, the transactions and the reconciliations within QuickBooks Online. Okay, so that's that match function. You want to make sure that you get that right. All right. So, and, and here's another one here. If we go to squeaky clean car, you'll see that there's a match and there were two transactions. So uh, which one are we matching this to? Okay, so let's go but down here and look at this. Okay, so we have Chin's gas, all right? So we know that we have, uh, you know, already put this in QuickBooks, but it's showing up as an uncategorized expense. So when you click on it, what you're gonna do is go to this find match. All right, so if you look here and you say, okay, it pulls up all the transactions in QuickBooks. And what it's doing here is it's adding up all of these. And since when you add up all of these, it equals 185, it's matching these to these transactions. All right, so look up here. You've got the suggested matches button and it's going to suggest the matches like it's doing here. But it says if none of these groups look right, turn off suggested matches to see the full list. So we can turn this off and we'll see that it's got this huge list. Okay, so maybe that's not very helpful. So let's turn that back on. But it's going to say, here are the suggested matches. We got six multiple. We got another six multiple. Okay, so it's a different set of transactions. Another set of six multiple or one check. Okay, so if we look at this one check, and we'll see, oh, this was to Chin's gas and oil for 185. Okay, so this is the match for this downloaded transaction. All right, so there's one selected, one downloaded, and it matches. This is probably gonna be the right transaction. So again, you have to be very, very careful 
to make sure that you match it up to the correct transactions. Okay, so if we hit save, now it has added that because it matched it to the transaction in QuickBooks Online. So the important thing to remember here is that the bank feeds can be very, very helpful in QuickBooks Online, uh, but you have to make sure uh, that if you have already recorded something in QuickBooks, there's a lot of easy ones like this one, one record found, deposit, it matches a deposit already made, great, it says match, you match, all right? But where you have to be careful is when it just says add a transaction and you actually have already put it into QuickBooks and you want to click match, okay? So, the, so let me go back over here. The technology is great to find the existing matches, but it doesn't always get it right. You want to make sure that you're matching it to the correct transaction and not adding things that don't need to just be added because you do risk duplicating transactions in QuickBooks Online, okay? Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, happy to answer those. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. I love teaching business owners and uh, small business accountants how to use QuickBooks properly, to, to use QuickBooks to help grow their business. So head over there now, become a member by purchasing the training tutorials, and that uh, allows you to ask me specific questions to your situation. The website is qbuniversity.org.